Hey guys, Trevor here with eCommerce Paradise, and I'm sitting here in my hotel room in Missoula, Montana right now, filming some new lessons for my high ticket job to be master class, which is open for enrollment right now. And it closes on the uh, 17th at midnight, which is actually tonight I'm filming this video. So if you're interested in getting into the high ticket job shooting masterclass, now's the time to do it. Go to ecommerceparadise.com slash masterclass to enroll. And if you haven't been through my free course yet, I highly recommend taking that first, ecommerceparadise.com slash free course. It teaches you the secrets to location independence, the millionaire mindset you need to succeed, and my full high ticket job shooting blueprint for success. With that said, guys, in this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about high ticket dropshipping versus freelancing. Freelancing is a great way to get started if you really don't know much about online business and this is the first business you're doing. Um, but high ticket dropshipping, in my opinion, is much better because of many reasons and I'm gonna get that into that right now. So for starters, what is freelancing and why do people do it in the beginning? Well, freelancing is a great way to make money right away. It's providing services to people like business owners usually that need things done for their business. So what kind of services usually are these? It's the same services that I usually um, you know, go out and get um, done for my business. Things like logo design or banner design, um, getting videos done, getting content done, things like that. You can actually be a freelancer and do these services for other people. So if you already have skill sets out there, skill sets you can use to help business owners out there with their business, then you can get on a platform like upwork.com or freeup.com um, and actually provide these services for other business owners. If you don't have any skill sets like this yet, it's definitely great to go and learn those skill sets because those skills can serve you for the rest of your life. You can provide services to people and maybe even later on if you want to make a digital marketing agency out of those services. Now, with that out of the way, let's talk about high ticket dropshipping and why I recommend that business model instead of providing services. High ticket dropshipping is a product based company. So you're basically marketing and selling products that other suppliers are already creating and all you're doing is providing the customer service and sales for those products. So the supplier actually inventories those products, stores them, warehouses them, and ships them to your customers for you so you don't have to deal with any of the inventory. All you have to do is create a website and market them online through paid advertising, through organic content, through social media, and you'll get sales. And those sales, you get to keep the profit difference between the sale price and the wholesale price you get from that supplier. So it's a really simple business model, and it's very scalable as well because you don't actually have to create or fulfill the actual products being delivered to the customers. You just have to do the customer service. So it's a lot easier to get started because you don't necessarily need certain skill sets to begin with. You can begin one of these businesses from scratch, not really knowing a whole lot about online marketing. Now, you're not going to be extremely successful unless you sign up for mentorship and coaching and a course so that you have a step-by-step step-by-step uh, step plan and a blueprint to follow for success by, from somebody who's already done it before or been successful with it many times over. Um, one of those platforms is my platform, eCommerce Paradise, and my How to Get Job to Be Masterclass. I've actually created a full masterclass that teaches you how to do this from start to finish. But the reason why I recommend it more than freelancing is because you don't necessarily need to have tons of experience up front. I think that's the main key that people um, you know, are really looking for is an online business model where you don't necessarily need to be extremely skilled at a certain thing before you get started because it's a higher barrier for entry. High ticket dropshipping is a lower barrier for entry and it's also very cost effective to start one of these business models. It's a very lean business. You might need a few hundred dollars to start up your website and marketing platforms and stuff like that and get all the you know, assets created for your business like your logo and banner and videos and content and then you can launch. Uh, whereas, you know, with freelancing, you've got to gain the skill set. So that takes a lot more time. With high ticket dropshipping, you can launch a store very quickly within 30 days or 60 days and get it profitable within 60 to 90 days, usually on average. And so, you know, it's a lot easier to do. And also, you're going to gain experiences along the way of all this stuff. Now, the one thing to keep in mind with this business model is you're going to be more of a business owner than you are going to be a freelancer or a solopreneur. So you want to get into the mindset of being a business owner, not just a freelancer or solopreneur. So utilizing other people's time and money and resources to build your business is key with high ticket dropshipping. And it's going to be your key to success in the long run as scaling your store as well. I've talked to a lot of successful high ticket dropshipping entrepreneurs, people that have 
six figure and seven figure Shopify stores that sell high ticket products. And the number one thing they say is that the more that they are able to utilize other people's resources, time and money and leverage that for the success of their business, the more successful their business has been in the long run. So keep that in mind guys. And if you are you know, really struggling to get money right now, freelancing on the side is not a bad idea while you grow your high ticket job shooting business. But if you are the type of person that has a high paying job already and you're making plenty of money, but you just don't have the time you want. So you're looking for more of a location independent business model. High ticket dropshipping is the best way to get started in that case. Skip the freelancing, invest your time and money into a high ticket dropshipping store, um, leverage other people's resources, time, and freelancers specifically to build your store for you. And you can have a passive income asset that's m massively scalable on a high level. And you can actually build this store and you can even sell it later for multiple five or six figures. So that's why I recommend high ticket dropshipping above freelancing, but it really depends on the type of person you are and the situation you're in. So gauge that first and then go from there. And if you're interested in getting started with high ticket dropshipping, go sign up for my free course at ecommerceparadise.com slash free course and enroll in the masterclass. You got until midnight tonight. It's ecommerceparadise.com slash masterclass. Thanks for watching guys and we'll see you in the next one.